Yo, what's going on beasts? I've been seeing a bunch of skill tier lists the past couple days on Twitter and YouTube and whatnot. But unfortunately, most of them were actually incorrect, believe it or not. And, considering my years of experience on the EHP battlefields as an EHP athlete, Tuna Bill Allherver, Maxcape speedrun holder and currently working on the fastest UEM Maxcape, you could say that I am one of the most qualified to speak on the subject of skilling. So I am here to save the day and provide you guys with the factual correct skill tiers list. And before we begin I quickly want to mention uh, I'll be getting 99 Slayer on the UEM today and I'm already live right now. But I will get a 99 at around 5 to 6 p.m. Central European time over at kick.com slash heyboxjongen. So feel free to join the stream right after video or later today. So yeah, I'll see you guys there to maybe discuss the, the tier list. But uh, let's get into the tier list right now. So I'm going to base these on a couple criteria. The overall feel of the skill. Place in the game over the years. Training methods and metas. And maybe some other stuff that doesn't really apply to all skills, but maybe some I could yap on a little bit uh, extra yapping. Um, so let's go for like the melee skills first. These ones are all the same and I'm placing them in um, E here because I don't think like they are necessarily bad, but and they're, they're pretty old school. I, I do like the combat style in in um, in old school RuneScape, but the way how these are trained due to Nightmare Zone and just like the AFK nature of the um, of the game, um, you can pretty much just like bot these overnight for six hours, and Jagex doesn't fix that, so they don't do anything. Like you just train them with Slayer, or you just like AFK them while you sleep in uh, in Nightmare Zone. Um, I mean ranged, uh, like the other combat skills aren't like too like different, but I guess range still has like Chinchon Pass where you can train a little bit like more fun uh, way and yeah, I guess I would place those in uh, yeah, D for now, I think. Same with magic, like it's pretty much a zero time skill which doesn't really add much to like the flavor of the game but I think magic is still pretty cool so I would definitely place it ahead of uh, range and mm, I would even maybe consider going for C tier for magic for now yeah let's keep it in C it's it's, it's a pretty cool skill even though the like the whole combat style of magic is kind of dominated by uh, the powered staves but I guess we do get some elemental like uh, buff stuff uh, soon but yeah, I'll keep it for now like this. I can always readjust uh, towards the end. I mean, you guys have probably seen the F <laughs> down below here. I think that one is just reserved for Fletching. Like, Fletching... Fletching back in the day wasn't a terrible skill. It was pretty comfy to just like Fletch some, uh, some Maple Longbows or some U Longbows at the bank. Sell them for some profit, but... Just with like the, the come up of like zero time and like the, the darts and like you just have to like spam darts for the for the most efficient thing, which is just it fucking sucks, man. Everybody hates fletching. And for Iron Man, it's just like you have to buy all the it's, it's pretty much like a shopscape skill, and then you have to like zero time it during during Spoker and whatnot. But yeah, fletching is just um was probably my least favorite skill to train when going for tournament all. But yeah, sorry fletching. You I wish you could be uh a little bit better, but you are going to stay in the F tier. Well, talking about Sepulcher, I have Agility. One of my favorites. I think I'm going to be placing it in um, the S tier of uh, Skilling. Because, like, Agility is pretty well-rounded. You're, like, it's, it's pretty well-integrated in the game. You have, like, all the shortcuts. And, I mean, some things could be balanced a little bit better. But we, got, we are getting that with Project Rebalance. And... Just the way of training it, uh, all the rooftops. I personally enjoy like most, well, not really most of the rooftops. But like the the, the later rooftops, like um, Priv and Ardi are like very good. I really do enjoy those. I've done 130 mil at Ardi on my main, and then Sepulchre came out, and I mean, 
Do I even have to speak on Sepulchre how, how good that content is? So I think easy uh, S tier for agility. And well, let's go for some Bibles now. Constriction. I think personally, Constriction is a really solid skill in terms of like the meta, how you train it. I really enjoy training Constriction, but the skill overall is a little lacking and is mainly like for most players, the main like uh, appealing factor of Constriction is going to be the. Um, yeah, the, like the reward space, which is. Eh, it's. It's not great, but it definitely, like, the skill feels just like, when you see someone with 200 mil construction, you just, like, know they have spent a lot of money on it, and it just feels good to, like, finally, like, have, like, three or something bill that you that you need to spend for 200 mil con, and to then just, like, smash out that skill in, like, 200 hours. It, it felt great for me, at least, so I'm going to be placing it uh, in B tier. And then Prayer. Prayer was used to be on the same level um, as construction for me but um, due to a recent change um, to how you offer bones at, uh, at the altar because it used to be that you just used the bone that you actually like used on the altar and then you had to like click every like bone in your inventory on the altar but now you can uh, just click the, the bone at the bottom of your inventory and it basically got turned into uh, one tick crumb ones, which I absolutely really hate about like prayer now. It uh, definitely got worse, and it's actually worse for your um, for your hands to like do prayer like that because the the mouse movement is just like very small. You only have to like move around in a very like tiny um, area, which actually puts more strain on the wrist rather than when you were doing it like uh, like before so yeah I actually I might even place this in D to be honest like prayer actually got fucking shafted by that update and it isn't a great skill for Iron Man either it's just like you click the spell during Slayer to train prayer so yeah, I'm gonna actually put it in uh... nah, but it definitely has a better feel than than ranged I'm gonna put it in wait can I not put it here yeah yeah, it's going to be in C tier for me. The top of C tier. Mm, I mean, cooking. The cooking might actually be an F tier. Like, one take once is just complete ass. I don't. I really don't like that method. Uh, nah, I'll place it in E. It, it's, it's still a little bit better than fletching. But it's not, it's not a good skill. You basically just like bake pie or... One tick plants, but one tick plants sucks, so... Yeah. E for now. Mm, it's time we talk about some more good skills. Let's talk about Slayer here. I think Slayer... Some people say Slayer is like the best skill. Some people say it's the fucking worst. I think Slayer is very good. But I wouldn't place it alongside agility for now because, I mean, you guys have probably seen my video. I would like to see some changes to Slayer to make it a little bit like more streamlined because the, the point system is just outdated, man. So I'm going to put Slayer in A. And... Mm -mm -mm. Another like very good skill. I I actually think fishing is like one of the most flawless skills in old school. It 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 feels very old school. All the well, I would say Temporos is like very good, but most of the additions to like the game that came like with fishing are actually very solid. So I would say it's, uh, and and like uh, training the the skill efficiently is very fun with uh, uh, either barb lore or like good eat fishing or two tick fishing. It's, uh, it's 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 great. That's uh, an easy S tier for me at least. Mm. And farming. I actually think farming is a pretty nice skill. I, I really enjoy the um, the way how you would like use it on Iron Man accounts. Since like uh, I've been playing the UAM quite a bit and doing a lot of herb runs, I actually do think herb runs and like allotment runs are actually pretty fun. Like the the way how you just like harvest and with like the the double click that you get like a double harvest. It's it's pretty addicting. So 
Uh, but it is kind of an ass skill on the main because you just do a three run once a day to get to 99 or 200 mil. I'm gonna place it in C. I do think it's better than. Um, is it better than prayer? Yeah. All right. Um, fire making. I mean, fire making is also like one of those snooze fast skills, but it's better than cooking. Hmm. It is definitely an old school like feel. Like just lines fire making. That definitely just feels old school, man. That's that's like the first thing we all did when we like started playing this game, just behind Lumbridge Castle, just like chopping logs and um lighting fires there. I do have a soft spot for for like the old school things for the skill. I would say it's yeah, it's better than ranged. It's definitely better than magic though. And it's pretty fun to like multi-skill the skill during like artifacts and uh, stuff like that. Actually, you know what? Magic goes down to D tier. It's, it's it's still a combat skill, but it's better than the other one. So that's, that goes there. Yeah, I would say this is... Uh, I quite like this so far. Uh, crafting Herb Lord. It's pretty much the same type of way how you train the skill. Uh... They're not bad. I, I do think the bank standards do have a place in the in the like the meta because sometimes people see skills too like individually. But um, crafting and herb are actually great skills in terms of like the place they have in the like the whole picture of 200 mil all because they like they are pretty good for playing a lot of alts so you can make a lot of money along alongside like training those skills. And I don't know, they're pretty chill. They're pretty old school. They're coming up with some new Herblore activity, so I'm not sure what they're going to cook up with that. But I, I would say they are... A B tier is kind of high, though. I feel like I almost need an extra tier. Uh. Hmm. Now I'm going to place them in C. I would say Herblore is better than crafting, though. Crafting is a little... Boring. Actually, crafting was by personally like one of my least favorite skills to train, but that was because I just finished Slayer and then I had to do crafting, and that was just misery. Um, hunter, 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 hunter is also A or S at least for me. I'm not. I wasn't really that big of a fan of hunter because uh, back in the day I wasn't. I, don't know, I wasn't really that good at uh, trap reset hunter. So that definitely made it less fun. But now with the, the addition of uh, Hunter rumors and just me getting better at um, yeah at, at, at Hunter itself, I still haven't learned Black Chains because I just uh, <laughs> took the easy way with Driftat. But I still think Driftat is pretty solid, even though it kind of ruined Fishing and Hunter. Mm. I'm going for A here, I think. I'm still not really that big on Hunter. Like, it's definitely the, the my least favorite of the Gatherers. Yeah, I would say A tier is fine. There's definitely some... issue still with it. It's kind of just like the Chins are just the only... like, viable thing. And now we have Rumors as well. I feel like some other things could be a little nicer. But yeah, Hunter, uh, A... Mining. Mining is a lot of, like, a lot of uh, the skillers put mining in S. And I think mining is great. 3 tick 4 g is very just, like, the, the pinnacle of, like, skilling. Very, um... It's also one of the only um, metas that have been, that is still, like, the, the best way to train mining. Like, 3 tick granite never never has been replaced by a mini game or what, uh, some other, like, new method. But I think mining does have some problems in the wider like community and like the, the wider skill so I'm gonna put it yeah, I think I, I think Slayer is more fun than mining for me so I'm gonna be putting it also in A tier mm. thieving 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 is kinda ass yeah thieving is pretty ass but it also has some fun stuff with it 
but I think it's it, it's kind of like the same tier as like fire making and like prayer for me at this point. It definitely is more like artifacts definitely pushes it pushes it up. But yeah, I'm gonna put it in the middle of C tier. It's kind of weird that construction has its own tier, but I guess there's definitely a gap between the A and the C here, so it makes sense. Uh, RC, yes, RC is also S. I think with the changes of like removing the delays of the altars that we had like well, probably at this point two years ago because time isn't real, but I think these are very like the, the changes with like the Guardians of the Rift, like a new pouch, removing the delays, the outfit, it's just like that is what a skill rework like should be like a mini game that feeds into the rest of the skill to make like everything more appealable even though the mini game is quite overpowered for iron man but yeah rc great skill i would say i would even say rc might be the best skill right now yes yeah R rc is uh, is rank one for me i think all right, leaves us with two more smithing and woodcut uh let's do smithing first smithing is like, I, I would like to say smithing isn't, like, my least favorite skill. But it if you look at um, the wiki page of how they made smithing, uh, like the updates, the smithing has had, like, three, like, tiny quality of life updates in, the like, the past um, 10 years. And then you look at um, the update page of Blast Furnace, which has, like, 17 updates in the past... Um, yeah, just smithing actually really struggles with its core um, skilling activity, and uh, it's just it, it's just blast furnace, man. This this skill should just be renamed to like blast furnace and maybe like giant's foundry for the irons, but yeah, and blast furnace is also just shit on irons with all the the shopscaping. So I would say smithing is like, uh, yeah, it's kind of bottom D tier for me. And the last one, woodcutting. Woodcutting used to be... Well, woodcutting isn't just like 1.5 techniques, but 1.5 techniques is definitely one of my favorite uh, skilling methods. But with the addition of forestry, woodcutting, the stock of woodcutting has tanked quite a bit. Unfortunately. So... Mm -hmm. But I... I just like the, the, the old schoolness of woodcutting quite a lot, so it still is a very, very high skill, but yeah, forestry knocked it uh, down from S tier to A tier for me, I think. Alright, let's do uh, one more look at everything. I, th I feel like this is pretty bang on. Actually, cooking is more of a skill than the combat skills, though, so... I would place that an E, like you actually can train that skill. This one is just snooze fast. All the all the combat ones. Yeah, fletching. Uh, tough, tough look. Yeah, I uh, I think this is it. This uh, this seems uh, what I'm uh, happy with. So uh, yeah, let me guys know what you think about my tier list that I uh, just put together for you. But uh, yeah, don't forget to check out the stream if you uh, guys want to see some UAM Slayer. The last couple uh, 100k XP is about to happen. And um, yeah, that video should be out probably somewhere next week. I don't know. I'll try to get it done. And uh, yeah, take care everybody. And uh, remember how the real skill list uh, needs to look, by the way. So yeah, see you later.